what's up guys this is the brave and i am back to bring you to the next episode of my empire to the war let's play as poland lithuania and in this episode we are laying siege to the ottoman capital we're going to destroy the ottoman faction for good uh seems quite fitting to be doing this as poland uh we have a superb army the enemy's actually got quite a decent mix of stuff um but almost a f a too many skirmishes for my liking um but anyway let's get to it and attack the city of Cairo. This will be, yeah, this will be the end of the, the Ottoman faction, and we will be another step towards our campaign goals. Uh, we will then have to spend a bit of time um, getting our getting this new territory uh, under control. And then we also have a battle to our west against the uh, Barbary states, but the objective is to focus our effort um, soon against Russia and to try and take uh, some of Moscow's cities as our last. Um, at least that's the plan anyway. We'll see if that played out. Alright, let's get my heavy horse up on the top here. That's a great firing position. My 24 pounders sit a little bit to the rear on the high ground back here. Uh, we can we can use the ground, the dead ground on our left, kind of anchor our front line. Put our elites out on the right flank, with all of our cavalry to take advantage of all of the space. Howard says behind the line, bombard with quick climb shots. General in the centre, not just any general, Field Marshal of Europe. howitzers aim for this massive blob of cavalry looks like we're too we're out of range of their mortars okay. actually why uh, 24 pounders one of you attack their unit of howitzers one of you attack their mortar garrison Ooh, okay heavy Horse. Okay, right. Let's maybe Brabant Cavalry get over here, plug this gap in the left that I've 100% created on my left flank. Heavy horse artillery is focusing on the enemy. Cavalry blob. Uh, quick climbers focus on this massive blob of enemy infantry. Okay, they're coming around to the front. In range of the 104th. The Marines as well. Delhi Horsemen are taking up a lot of fire though. Born Square. Command Cavalry get up here. Gunners aim at this unit. My artillery aim at this unit of camel gunners that are pushing up quite aggressively. Command cavalry fire well off with your pistols. See, even after forming square quite late, late game infantry is still really quite strong. The enemy infantry is scuttling back. Get both my foot howitzers to get engage this foot artillery. The skirmishers are hiding. There you go, the camel gunners, they've been pushed back. This foot artillery aim at the camel mercenaries. Uh, once we push back these Delhi horsemen, we are going to fold the left flank of the infantry in. Oh, the unit of skirmishers is pushing forward. Gunners are retargeting. This is... Oh, a couple of hits. Good. They're going to hold just outside of my musket range, which is a good decision. Force me to scoot forward a bit. Although they are actually advancing. 
Okay, Delhi Horsemen have been pushed back. There you go, some of their skirmishes are advancing while stealthed. Grandier Guards push up to the edge of the trees. My cavalry, including my winged Jassars, advance. Engage the cam camel mercenaries with canister shot if they stay within range. Well, they've been defeated. Boost a round shot, engage the swordsmen. Okay, yeah, the skirmishers are deliberately remained out of range. Polish, Polish Hussar Guard move in. My winged Hussars wheel to deal with these Janissaries. Grenadier Guards are going to be ready to reinforce. Bring my Hussar Guards in. Ooh. My wing. That's a. <laughs> Almost perfectly, t almost perfectly timed. Asterisk. It was terribly timed. But I still liked it. Okay, keep, keep the winged Hussar charge pushing forward. Into the Delhi horsemen. The enemy artillery is firing up now. Killed their general. Now they were in this Delhi horseman cluster. Push my light cavalry on, my Polish Hussar guards into the Mamelukes. Just charge these winged Hussars on into the enemy artillery to the rear. The canister shot these Mamelukes swordsmen. If they want to come around the flank, they're welcome to. Okay, how it's uh, start engaging this position. The uh, Janus Street Musketeers. All my artillery engage them. The mountain cavalry is coming around the flank. There's a unit of enemy Azars. They want to try to defend the mortars, but it's not going to work. Come on, Trabant Cavalry. We can hit those swords whether they out or not. Ride through them. Ceasefire! Those Janissaries are routed. Push forward into the Azar. Picking off my line. Deadly Horsemen are coming back. Bring my cavalry back, the safety of my line. Artillery re-engage this new target. Get my command cavalry to the safety of my own lines. They don't like being shot at by artillery. Oh, they especially don't like being hit by artillery. Good hits. The enemies of the Ottoman Empire have been sent spinning in all directions. Defeat is upon them. Good. Okay, let's get repairing. Let's get the army replenished. Let's get rid of the fishery. And usually Dana. Let's get rid of Dana. You don't need to be a um, college this force here let us bring death 
to the Barbary States. Capture Tripoli, lest their agent kill my priest. They will not kill a man of God. We've got rockets as well in this one, so do love rockets in a city uh, attack because they're just constantly bombarding the center, and that's just awesome to see. Uh, but yeah, the plan is to try and now focus on attacking Russia. But that'll be the Middle East utterly conquered. Um, okay. Rockets set up. Oh, it's is set up. It's gonna be a bit within range there, I suspect. These guys will be more than able to hit front wall. The enemy is severely depleted. Form up, wait for a gap, and then we'll work out what we want to do afterwards. So you guys... Yes, you do want to quick climb the centre. Put artillery, just attack sections of the wall. We do want to attack the... Oh my god, it actually made my, my game black out for a minute there. Oh my god. So the misses from here as well that go over the wall are also going to land in the centre. Okay, let's make sure we are focusing our attacks on those mortars. Kill a lot of them. Kill a lot of them mortar crews as well. There we go. So when these guys, if they overshoot. Shells are landing in the centre. But the enemy eastern walls fall really easily. They get cool models for their own populace, though. I think they might be the only faction in the east that gets this model. Fire as she bears. Got another crew member. A bunch of crew members there. Rockets away. Three crewmen left. Manning two guns, but that might not be enough. But look at all those dead camels. Yeah, no, I don't think they're a threat anymore. So let's go back to bombarding the centre because they will always shuffle units around to kind of focus on filling out the centre of where their deployment is. Rockets away, perhaps. They're reloading. There we go. Howitzers away. I think they're focusing on me. The, they are focusing on the more team. So many dead. Okay, right. Let's let's get this wall knocked down. One gunner, one crew, and it's the opposite left. He's missing all the fireworks. Yeah, look at all these. You see, they're all clustering together to form the center. So we are going to get to a point where, hopefully, we should start actually killing some of these units. If we can ever hope to actually breach the wall, that is. 76%. About there we want. Ultimately, let's just start moving the line forward. They've still got a couple of armed populace units. 
desert warrior unit, but it's safe to say the bulk of their power is gone. Yes, he's the face of a man who is not happy, who is just fed up. Again, with how it's just actually work on that second center of the section of the wall. Let's just see if we can get them trapped. Six percent rockets away. Seventeen percent. A couple of volleys, good hits. Attack. Shells are away. Seventeen, twenty four, twenty seven. Couple of units charged out and then immediately broke. Right, bring the ground air guards up. Plus the engineers. The light infantry. See, they could scale the walls, but actually, no, that's not going to work. Well, I mean, it could work. As soon as they leave the, the sanctuary of their walls, they break. Eight percent, forty-five percent, forty-eight, fifty-two. Oh, I have to actually flatten it. Fair enough. Although it's safe to say we've we've thinned them out somewhat. Get ready to threaten this breach. Yeah, as soon as they leave the walls, they just break. They just have no morale. The only reason they're still fighting is because they are in their city. Okay, how it's just focus on it. Try snipe the general's bodyguard. Engineers go over here and fight the armed populace. These units just waste their time against the uh, master units. Although what we could do, we can kill this one member of the armed populace. There we go. Coming in, so they're not going to let us do that. I was hoping we'd be able to um, just form form volleys and just slaughter the enemy. Like we want to do here. Although we've got thin volleys, that's not going to work. You guys should chew up the armed citizenry quite nicely. You men get into the armory. There we go. Well, they must have made it. Didn't really have to be Napoleon to win this one. So these desert warriors are grounded. The grenadier guards are in the tree. Rocket blew up in that man's face.
to the honest, he could probably just line up and get execute the general. There we go. We captured the gatehouse. Pull through. Even charge in the back of the arm. The desert warriors. Kill the enemy general. Good. Brave Polish troops surround and destroy this garrison unit. There we go. You, the garrison has nearly entirely broken. Push forward, secure the building. Although, oh, hey, the arm, some of the armed populace is actually coming back. Hey, they might come back through the breach as well. That'd be pretty wizard. Yeah, that arm populace, yeah, it's not going to cut through. Engineer unit. Wait a minute. Do you fancy a pop at my. Oh, yeah, the Polish household cavalry, which I haven't really had a chance to use. <laughs> I mean, I don't think they're going to be needed either. No. Oh, uh, you're co you're you wavering. There. That is the end of the Barbary States. Protectorate of the Ottomans. Not enough. And they don't actually mind us either. Excellent. Replenish. Get converting. Excellent. Repair the trade port. Uh, yeah, can't build. We can build better roads. Cool. But also. So there goes the Ottoman Empire, that's a dead janissary. Good, 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 good. Barbary States destroyed, because Tripoli is ours. Okay. You're recruiting new troops, are you? No. You are in Vilnius, and we are in Kiev. Good. Excellent. Right, let's... 805... Dana, we can destroy. No technology on the horizon to worry about. Let's hit and turn. Religious agents are scampering around. Spies are moving into position. Britain. Eh, what the hell? Yeah, what the hell? France is. Ooh. It's quite an impressive stock of allies against our... This is World War, World War I. We're effectively starting here. Let's see if Britain joins us. Britain and the Marathas refuse to join us. We know what your words are worth. They've advanced into the Netherlands. Okay, so we may end up actually fighting the French. <laughs> oh yes, we're in the colonies as well. You'll suffer for this, France. You'll pay. We'll make you all pay. So lots of garrison troops coming out of Maine. Uh, Spain wants to buy seed planting drill. No, because you're an ally of the French. We will not. Repeat, not. Barter with you while you are an ally of such treacherous dogs. We had a stable situation in Western Europe. Why do you have to ruin my Russia plans? Uh, yes. 2,600 for Coke Blast Furnace. That's not bad. Right. <laughs> now, George has declared war on us. What the hell? Hanover's decided not to join us. Why? Why is Georgia attacking us? Why is Württemberg attacking us? Why is everybody decided I am now such a massive threat? 
<laughs> then you've just decided, yeah, okay, that's really kick the pants on most, if not all, of our plans. Very well. We will do what we must. So we've lost a bunch of... Um, maybe we've had a bunch of territories raided. Stanislav, replenish. And start to... Start to beef up our front here. New town emerges as one in Egypt. Perfect. Is you're going to become a church school? Oh, I'm going to become a craft workshop. Okay. Skip you up. Ooh. What to do with you? You can just march in and take. Send in our field marshal. We can actually send me out. Um, don't doesn't Genoa, Georgia? Yeah, Georgia has a heat in, but does that count as India? I think it does. So if we take out, take out the mothership. Because their port is ungarrisoned, we can just storm straight in. Yeah, they've completely upended our plans with that one. Before we do that, just one second. Do a bit of this, do a bit of that. Okay, Persia, one church school. One industrial building. You've already got a happiness building, a pleasure garden there. Let's get another church school. Let's make you a true um, center of Catholic learning. Okay, some stuff in in the Americas as well. God, they really, they really. Screwed the pooch on this one. Let's have you, Russia, actually. Ultimately, this may be this may be the episode in which we end the campaign and we meet our campaign objectives. Because this army, because we're no longer going to be fighting against Russia, we've got this threat to the west to worry about. Let's re pre deploy an invasion army here in our who's. Because when the time is right, we can go into Le Havre and then whoop, and attack Paris. Right, but we've done that. We've lost our trade with France, but we're making so much money hand over fist, we don't really care. Try trade with Spain. Okay, so Georgia, who didn't have to be involved in this at all, who elected to try and stab us in the back, their empire must be crushed. And this is what they get. <laughs> but getting involved in a war that had nothing to do with them. They could have just sat on the sidelines, watched carnage reign, say, thank God we're not involved. But no, they have to suddenly be... They have to try and... Well, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure what they're hoping to achieve. They didn't have an army ready. They weren't able... Well, they didn't have an army to spring an attack on us. They weren't going to get any gains from the declaration of war. All that is brought is the destruction of their faction. Let's blow our way in. Got a lot of... Yeah, we're going to we're gonna have to we're gonna do a lot of... I have a lot of faith in our foot artillery. Okay, cavalry. Wait your turn. A lot of it as well. Make a hole in the wall. You man. No, around there. A quick line won't do it. You want to try and engage the enemy. Artillery. Yeah, see, not for not. It's too far. And 
unless we do just focus on enemy infantry on the walls. Okay. Let's speed up time till we manage to knock a hole in the wall, because otherwise it's kind of not super fun. Although it's going to take a bit of time for my, even for um, heavy horse guard artillery. Good hits. So we're probably going to... Well, we're going to make our bridge. We may even make, try and make a couple of breaches. Hmm. The trouble is, it's those mortars. They are tricksy. Very tricksy indeed. Although not as tricksy as quick like this to any units that are bundling up near the walls to try and defend it. I think we can probably still stand to try and create a breach, box it up, uh, provoke the enemy to push out, and then as they weaken other parts of the line, we opportunistically try and capture um, other gatehouses. Well, I think that's definitely the way to go. Push forward at speed. Let's split. Split the cavalry up so that each wing, if they can capture a gatehouse on let on this side or this side, the cavalry can sweep in wherever they wherever they're needed. We've got enough strength to storm through the gate if we need to. Spend some of our quick climb effort trying to weaken some of these reinforcing divisions. Middle, the middle gun is bugged. Yeah, they had some, they had a minor freak out from the orders. You had a misfire. Yeah, my cam looks. Gunners away. Quick, the yeah, artillery's firing. Going for my engineers. So many dead corpses are piling up this walkway. You think they'd stop using it, or they'd stop being able to use it? Okay, all right. My light light troops hold further back for now. Push extra in oh, not fusiliers. You're right. Let's bring these three units across. Support the breach or the breaching efforts. These units hold until an opportunity arises. Because you are going to run over here and attack that gatehouse. Line infantry guards, attack that gatehouse. Okay, you guys might... Okay, you guys probably don't want to... Fusiliers don't want to attack too close. Okay, howitzers mostly fire round shot onto the centre. Actually, try and attack the general. Try and kill the enemy general. Skirmishers cease fire. Cease. Okay, one quick one how it's unit try and quick line that reinforcing unit. One how it's unit try and engage that regiment of foot. Start trying to force our way through. 
These units run. Mercenaries are starting to climb the walls. You can scale that wall. Now it's all switched to round shot again, I guess. Just in case they start trying to get too many friendly fire instances near the breach. Push forward close. That unit's probably going to block us from being able to blow through troops through. I'm going to successfully scale the wall. They're not going to be able to stop us. Mercenaries push forward. Cavalry push closer on each flank. These units in particular are going to do great. So they're loaded with your guards, they're really hard to kill. Okay, one unit pushed through out into the unit there. They're getting bombarded by howitzer fire, cavalry, swoop through. But you men are going to have to engage this garrison line unit, but don't know how you're not counting as controlling that gatehouse. These units are getting pummeled by howitzer fire, but there's not a lot we can do. This is why the cavalry are here. Excellent, we're in here. My Kamluk is going to shoot into the back of the combat wing Hussars. Charge into the enemy. Enemy artillery. I mean, they should probably just ride into the back of the combat, to be honest. Even skirmish and cavalry can't screw that up. Fusiliers try and get off the wall. How oh, it says ceasefire. Trabant cavalry charge the line. Wing to Sars charge the line. Ride them down. Infantry units blow through the line. You've pinned them. There's one mortar crewman. There we go. Charge the general's bodyguard. Skewer him, Hussars. Mortars are still firing, but they're not gonna do what they want what they need them to do, that's for sure. Kill the enemy general. Garrison forces are in dire shape. Infantry, infantry forces are trying to force their way in through the gate. Uh, through the breach, rather. There we go. Skirmishers have chased down that last unit. The last gunner unit, rather. Kill them. Kill them all. We're slicing down the last of their infantry defending the centre. They don't even have bayonets. Charge, charge into the rear of the seventh. They're in trouble. Fuse layers are in, in combat. Not really what I want, but you know what? How about it? Kill the last of the general's bodyguard. Enemy are critically low on numbers. It's one last 
regiment of foot infantrymen. This this guy is the last of his unit. Cut him down. They're proving remarkably resilient. Excellent. It'll be these guys that are keeping them alive. Yeah, yeah, they've broken. It's only the troops of Popo Gate that haven't broken, and now they have. Slaughter them! Nice. Very nice indeed. Cool. So let's see if that destroys Georgia from the game. It should do, because the other region should be in a different... Well, you can just about see it. No, you know what? They are actually still here. So they're going to hate us. Well, that is until I get rid of the university. So they're currently minus six. The university is 11. Providing 11 negative. So once, we, once that goes away, they will love us. Awesome. Let's get rid of the shipyard. Nice. Okay, so the only thing to do... I think this is going to be how it... This is going to be... This is going to be it. It's going to be how it ends. We've done as well. Okay, let's hit end turn. We're going to end up either launching an army towards Paris, or... Uh, you want another alliance? You want me to pay you 27 grand? I mean, <laughs> that is just pay 27 grand to win the campaign. No, we're not going to do that. <laughs> you know what, France? You can do what you like. You are not able to stop this train. marching on they appear completely deaf to to our progress yeah you want to march up towards um montreal we've got troops there to defend it meanwhile the damp squib of austria has just kind of been sat here oh yes Württemberg declared war on us not that we we're really an opportunity to jump on them Sadly, because France has left troops in the port, we can't execute our rapid attack strategy the way we wanted it to. Wanted it to be done, rather. Here come the Marathas. Ah, they've declared war. Oh, no. Are they going to be our... <laughs> Is the Iroquois going to be our last capture? Because they could be. They've got one f one territory that we border in, in North America. Oh my god. <laughs> Such a non-epic way for it to go. Okay, so. Fur exchange has been burned down. You've got a good, a good block of infantry. Yeah, you'll easily be able to defend against a, an incursion like that. If they want to cross over the strait here, you guys will be able to more than easily repel this, these fragments. New town emerges. West Prussia. Have a craft workshop. Yats in Persia. Have a craft workshop. Now Algonquin territory. Have a craft workshop. Oh, we can't actually reach them in one turn. <laughs> okay, wait. Is this army replenished? No, it is not. So you could march down and take Strasbourg, which would be GG well played. Because yeah, what I wanted to do was march into here, then run in to take Paris. But 
Looking at our objectives. Yeah, one more region to be captured. And Strasbourg is mighty, mighty grabbable, even for an army as depleted as this. Although I would like to probably take some of these units and then say, like, combine. Take you guys out Not of true. Rhineland, say, take some of our weakest units alone. Take these two infantry units in. Uh, let's take this gun then. Let's go grab our last territory. <laughs> let's go. I mean, it's completely not the way we intended to go, but we're doing it with Stanislav von Ponyatowski, who's been with us all the way. Let's go for Strasbourg. Go for Strasbourg. I, th I think this can be part of a challenge with long campaigns, is that with world domination, you have to kind of maintain those big strategic plans. Like a true world domination, you have to maintain those big strategic front lines and so on. But towards the end, like now, you just kind of, like whack-a-mole, go, right, I can go for these three, and then end the campaign. Everything's good. Uh, but yeah. No. This is, this is this is what we're going to do. Not the ending we dreamed of, but, you know, all things must come to an end. So we still have to be a bit careful, because we don't have many artillery pieces, and we don't want this to become a... Um, don't want this to become a, an escalade. escalade. Good, good, good. Cavalry buckets of it so we definitely want to do some flanking around right let's try and do right let's do you and you you're gonna flank around on the right you and you are gonna flank around on the left cavalry is going to split up I might even send a skirmish unit with one of them to try to flank all the way around that leaves not very many assault troops, but enough. Very good. So you men make your breach. You men try to go for some of these mortars. Oh, they don't actually reach. Very well. Help make a breach. So I want to make two breaches to really thin out the enemy front line. Then I want to flank around and capture as many. Hey, one of them mortar units is outside. Fun. Yeah, okay, let's focus on focus on making a hole because uh, it would not take too many lucky hits to suddenly have a real problem. damage here so frantically reloading their reloading their guns there we go now as soon as you get 51 percent they know they because they've got more limited weight ah oh, we, do we do the complete no we don't i was gonna say do do i try and trap them no i don't that would be most unsporting but we're making the breaches we're dragging men off the walls make it easier to see to make it easier to assault the uh, flanking structures got some good kills actually on the focus on that section so how, how many died here yeah that is a good number Appear to be unperturbed at trying to get off the wall. Yeah, just focus on that section of the wall.
good. Getting some hits. I mean, they they do. They really don't want to get off the wall. I imagine once it gets to 50%, that's when they'll panic. That's when they'll suddenly go, oh, Jesus, <laughs> this could be really bad. Like, yeah, it could. Especially if you trap, you know, ooh, especially like the, oh, the light troops. It's not a bad place to have light troops if they're trapped. Either way, these guys are going to... One more hit. Oh! Yeah. Mercenaries. Yeah, they appear to just—they appear to be completely happy with potentially having uh, a good. I mean, if we can get a bunch of their infantry regiments trapped on the wall as well, that'd be quite nice. Mercenaries and militia defending one of the flanks isn't terrible. But yeah, I want to get there. Get both our breaches made. There we go. Now the panic. Okay. Let's keep just units bombarding the breaches. So the you men are going to warp. You men are going to run. The Dragoons are going to run for the back to go for that enemy mortar. You men are going to run for here. And my cavalry are going to just advance regularly. Then when these guys are passing the gun teams, get a little bit of a sprint done. That P. Yeah, this house unit is quick climb. Uh, that's the better unit. But that's a better position. If you land a good quick climb here, the 33rd is going to be dead completely. If we can get my my dragoons, we can deal with this mortar unit. That will only be one unit inside the town to worry about. Yeah, my computer stuttered there for a minute when <laughs> these guys all died. Okay, now my assault divisions run. So when you guys capture the gate, get my pikemen up here ready to assault. Line infantry capture the gate. Pikemen ready for ready to assault. Skirmishers run around to the rear. Yeah, they're ready. They're moving to. Oh no, they're coming down. Interesting. Well, the militia might repel one of our. Units, especially because they're probably going to be quite badly. Um, yeah, the morale is going to start to kick in. Just kill that mortar garrison unit. Oh, the okay, right. Push the line forward because the troops are advancing up to the breaches. One other line. Yeah, you broke from. Um, Concentrated musketry, so you guys run keep running around the city, just away from the militia. Make an enemy gendarmerie. Kill them. Kill the gendarmerie. Militia broken as well. No, no, don't form pipe wall. Just, just attack the gendarmerie. 
You're gonna blitz your way through there. Okay, the troops in the breach are starting to try and well, starting to engage us. John Dunree say they are winning. I do not believe them. Okay, once the if we make this unit break, we have to push through the wall rapidly. Pikeman, get over here. Gunners engage the 31st Regiment. Excellent, the gate is ours. Hitting the men on the walls quite rapidly. Okay, they've, they're broken and winded, shaken. Men scale the wall here. And when you're up here, capture the wall, capture the gate. Okay, they are going down. I think it's the uh, the, the um, artillery fire is not helping. But if these guys can scale the walls, they'll start shooting into the center. The first regiment is doing quite a good job of holding on, really. Broken. Excellent. Marines, get in here. Everybody, get in here. Hold the right flank. Plagueman, move in here. Chase down the gendarmerie. Skirmishers, hold the gate. We also, there's militia. The reason why we're not capturing the gate, we're going to just um, slowly build up, just increase our. Actually, no, they're just going to come and open the gate for us. to attack the general's bodyguard. Line infantry charge in. Fusiliers and grenadiers also move in. Steps they can open fire on the these mercenary unit. Kill the mortars. Open fire. Pikeman charge into the center. Try kill the general. These men are being fired upon. As it is, the enemy general's been killed. I'm glad you all witnessed this, Stanislaw. Oh god, they're coming! Reinforcements! Let's see if they're enough to turn the tide. Lancers, get in. I mean, I think now my pikemen are in, my cavalry are somewhat superfluous. Some decent melee troops in here. Got him. Wheel into the 13th Regiment. This infantry unit sees fire. One good lance to charge. A reasonable lance to charge, not necessarily a good one. Kill this general staff. Kill that militiaman. Come on, 
one of you kill that unit. The other one of you form up and engage these enemy reinforcements. Who are you? Hey, the militia have actually pushed us off the wall. They're going to recapture the gatehouse. Now my pikemen are on the wrong side of it. How a wizard. Kill that last. Kill this last handful of infantry. Although you are fused layers, you're literally some of the worst infantry possible. Well, they're running across to my irregulars. Again, a perfect unit. Okay, you may need to run around here and support that unit. Here and open fire, pike can get out of the way. Regiment of foot. Oh, these here, you are pikemen. You don't have any muskets. Charge the militia. The regulars are holding their own, but they are not good troops to do this with. Fall back, irregulars. Let the 14th in. It is these guys that are just stopping them from breaking. Well, I mean, these guys probably help. Oh, just opening fire. Well, I think you guys are probably shooting up top. Not that it matters, because the centre is ours. Centre is ours, and you know what that means. Woohoo! Campaign 1 as Poland Lithuania. Awesome. Uh, maintain these conquests until the allotted time, and victory will be yours. I don't think so, because I've got this on four turns per year, and it's only 1714. But yes, there we go. Victory completed. What started off as a fleeting empire has expanded to a mighty, mighty faction that encompasses territories in the Americas. Uh, it would include some of the Indias had I not forgotten about them and had them all been slaughtered. But anyway, we are a super strong Western Europe, very strong in Eastern Europe, and we just dominate. Well, we own the entire, well, not the entire Middle East. We dominate the Middle East. But yeah. This has been a fun campaign. You don't normally see Poland last this long. Uh, yes, it's been very good fun. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed. What I'm probably going to do is I'm, I'm not going to hold a separate faction vote. I did put a community post out uh, a couple of weeks ago, kind of asking for feedback on who, what people want. So I'll probably just look through, look through that list and see what's probably the best fit and what's probably some of the most, um, some of the most popular responses. But yeah, rightio. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next campaign. Cheers, everyone.